Hello from Bilbao and the Connemara, over there, operated by Brittany Ferries. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. There's a number of different varieties. There's fiscal, so that's for tax, I imagine, or import law. And then there's border police, I suppose, trying to avoid people who are not allowed to travel from traveling. Hashtag free Britney. All I can tell you is that a three layer mask is not designed to be able to protect you from certain smells. Ugh. Side. The curtains are closed, so let's get those open up. Oh, that's a bit brighter. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that it smells very slightly. It smells kind of sweaty. I don't know what else to tell you about it. Let's get on to slightly better things. The room is big. It's very generously sized. Have a look. They've made it up as if for two people. It is a four berth with window um, that I paid for, so I guess I do have a big room, which is probably not a bad thing. Let me check if there's air conditioning. There's something up here with open written on it. Do you think that's air conditioning? Oh, well, it's something noisy. Maybe it's not the smell of sweat so much as the smell of maybe of diesel, something like that. Okay, let's get straight to it and a room tour starting with our favorite area, La Toilette. Ici. I'm not sure why I'm using French when we are technically in Spain, but it's Brittany Ferries. Hashtag free Brittany. So there is a toilet and a plastic toilet brush down here. So there is an Ecolab hand wash dispenser here. A tooth mug holder, sans a tooth mug, but up here there is a paper version that would fit in there very nicely. This mirror has seen better days, so you can see the edges of it are pretty worn away. But I think it is clean. I look exhausted, don't I? I got caught in the rain in Bilbao. That's always a bad look when you're trying to be funky looking for a movie. So there is a very strong light here, a mirror, an area for you to put your bits and bobs. There is a sink. Seems like reasonable water pressure. What are these marks? Just little black marks, not hairs. Plenty of toilet paper in the event that one were to be ill. And in here, there is a shower. I'll be making use of that in a while. I mean, it all feels like Northern Irish Hospital, 1975. And as I was born in 1974, I have no memory of that. But I can sense it via the smell. What oh, is it? No, it's... is it feet? No, it's definitely... it's B.O. Over here, in this darkened area... Maybe I could switch on a light. Now it feels like I'm in a Tesco supermarket. Thank you for that amount of neon. Over here, there is storage for four people's coats 
and luggage. But there is only me. But happily I've brought rather a lot of luggage with me. Mainly snacks. There's two beds as you can see. And two towels are provided. They must have made this up for two people. The pillows have that look of pillows which are much smaller than the accompanying pillow case. And there's a hair on here. That's reassuring, isn't it? Ah, there's the room key. These are for putting a glass or a bottle on in case it's very bumpy. I'm hoping it's not gonna be that bumpy. This shirt is quite disconcerting. I bought it for this trip and now it makes me look like a washed out old hag. What can I tell you about noise? I can tell you that I can hear every door opening and closing on the corridor with regularity. <coughs> there we go. And small children hurtling themselves down the 1970s hospital corridor. So much that's gone wrong in life. Um, out through this window we can see Bilbao, what remains of it. I'm not sure what those are, some kind of containers perhaps. Yes, I got stopped on the way in for filming on the car deck. There are a number of buttons arrayed here. Ah, for a personal light if you want to use this light which is in fact has looks like it's been burned with a cigarette however happily this side has not yet been singed by somebody smoking a fagarillo i think as it happens i've ended up with one of the better rooms i guess at the time that i booked there were no maybe two birth cabins available and i had to take a four maybe that's what made this a relatively expensive trip. Every email that I've received from Brittany Ferry says, you're getting a great value trip with no frills. Our Connemara ship is our economy ship. It's spelt in the French fashion. In other words, it's cheap and cheerful. It's not set up like a big cruise ship. There's no entertainment. You know that means that children are gonna be running up and down the corridor, shouting at one another in Portuguese, Spanish, Irish, English, and French. I'm hoping for other languages. I will keep a nostril out for that. It also means that there's not much of a food service. I think there's a restaurant and I think there's a cafe and bar. I am hungry, so I'm going to get something to eat soon after we depart, which is allegedly in six minutes. Do you think it's going to happen in six minutes? Next thing you should see is the sea. whenever I have access to the interwebs, which is only in the common areas and not here in the bedroom. I got a reasonable sleep, um, maybe seven, seven and a half, eight hours, something like that. The bed was perfectly comfortable. I always tell you the positives as well as the negatives. It's time to get ready, get showered and go and get a full Irish breakfast after a month away, 24 days, but close. thinking a bit about being asked not to film in the public areas. Actually, I don't have an issue with that. But what I do have an issue with is that the majority of us are walking around with a phone in our pocket. Everybody up in the public area, as they should be, are texting their friends or taking a photograph of the beautiful view outside or their food or their pals. It's impossible to kind of stop people communicating. I think the thing that I do find problematic is that I was targeted because I've got 
not a giant camera, quite a small compact camera, but it looks like a camera. I was dealt with in a very firm way, as if I were here to photograph something for a competitor or something. I mean, it's so bizarre. But the difficulty is, you're going to have to tell everybody who owns a phone to not use their phone to take a photograph. To not use their phone to take a little film of what's going on. All of us can see in the back of those little films what a place looks like. If the problem is, this is the economy ship, everyone's taking a photograph and sending it to their aunt. So what's the fear? There's no problem with having a policy. I have no problem with following it. But I'd like you to be consistent about it, Brittany Ferries. Then nobody can film. You end up in this very bizarre situation. If this was the 1970s and I came on with a film crew, I'd get it. Be consistent. Public areas, no filming, no issue. I haven't filmed at all in the public areas. And you're not going to see anything in this video which is from the public areas other than my food, which was close up. Will I ever take this ferry again? I have to think about it really hard. Possibly not. You can do it in a positive way. You don't have to be a negative Nelly. It's the negative Nelly stuff that gets you the most negative attention. But that's your fault. Back to spend 14 more hours aboard. Can I watch any more movies? There's some pretty dense fog out there. Visibility is not amazing. There's a bit of a storm in Ireland at the moment. But maybe if I bring you down here, I can show you roughly where we are. Thanks to marinetraffic.com. Uh, this is where the ship is. This is Ross Lair. We're about an hour and 10 minutes, an hour and 15 minutes out. I'm really looking forward to arrive. <laughs> I've already been close on 27 hours on this ship and I am gesnozzled. I'm ready to see Ireland. I have about a three hour drive to get home. Obviously there's border control and that kind of thing to go through. So hopefully all of that goes okay and I'll see you somewhere on the other side. <laughs> episode of Planet Patrick. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It's free. Click on the bell for notifications and you can follow me at Trek Solo on Instagram for live story reports as I go around the world to glamorous and not so glamorous locations. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick.